Today I'm going to talk about reach and answer the question, is a 300mm f4 lens on a micro four thirds sensor equivalent to a 600mm f8 lens on a full frame sensor? Now of course the lens on the right is an f4 lens, not an f8 lens, but let's suppose we stop down a 600mm lens to f8. Will you get the same reach in both cases? The answer is absolutely no. In fact, in many cases, a 600mm lens, even when you stop it down to f8 on a full frame camera, will give you much more reach than a 300mm f4 lens on a micro four thirds camera. In order to properly answer this question and compare reach on two different cameras with two different sensor sizes, we actually have to take into account the number of megapixels on each sensor. Now, there are a few ways of properly calculating reach, but I'm going to do one which I think is the most conceptual. In order to make the computation easily understandable and relevant, I'm going to consider a 45 megapixel full frame sensor. This is one of the most popular resolutions for full frame wildlife cameras. The size of this full frame sensor, like all full frame sensors, is 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. Now, let us superimpose a 20 megapixel micro four thirds sensor. 20 megapixels is the most popular resolution for micro four thirds. The size of this sensor is 17.4 by 13 millimeters. Now let us suppose we are using a 300mm f4 lens on the micro four thirds sensor. What kind of lens do we have to use on the 45 megapixel full frame sensor to get the same reach? In order to answer this question, we have to ask ourselves, how much do we have to crop the full frame sensor to get an area that has a ratio of 4 to 3 and has 20 megapixels? In other words, I am trying to find the length of the blue square. Let us call this length x. The height of the blue square is 3x over 4 because we want the crop to have the same aspect ratio of the micro four thirds sensor. If we take the area of the blue square and divide it by the area of the full frame sensor, we have to get 20 over 45. That is because the blue square has to have 20 megapixels and the full frame sensor has 45 megapixels. If we do a little bit of rearranging, we find that x squared is equal to 512. This gives that x is about 22.6. Taking this number x and dividing it by the length of the micro four thirds sensor gives us the crop factor we are looking for. That crop factor is approximately 1.3. This crop factor can tell us what lens we would need on a full frame sensor of 45 megapixels to get the same reach as a 300 millimeter f4 lens on a micro four thirds sensor of 20 megapixels. We simply multiply the focal length and aperture by this crop factor. This gives us a 390 millimeter f5.2 lens. The closest lens that I can find to these specifications is the Nikon 400mm f4.5 lens, which is actually a little faster and longer than a hypothetical lens we would need to get the same reach as the 300mm f4 lens on a micro four thirds camera. In other words, to perform as well as a 300mm f4 on a 20 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, you really only need a 400mm lens on a full frame sensor that has 45 megapixels. This shows you that if you fix a focal length while you get twice as narrow a field of view on a micro four thirds camera, you certainly do not get twice as much reach. I invite you to perform this calculation on other sensor resolutions to get an accurate idea of how much reach you are really getting. It is also important to say that having more megapixels or having a higher resolution sensor does not automatically imply more reach. Once your light goes below a certain level, a higher resolution sensor will start to lose its advantage over a lower resolution sensor. That is why it is important to consider aperture when you're comparing the reach of two lenses on two different formats. I hope this calculation cleared up a few misconceptions about reach, and I hope to see you again next time.